13, Peter Tai. The 14, Cooper Carr. The 20, Jediah Esera. The 16, Tristan Burns. 17, Yayayashi. The 18th will be Cam Nononmaka. And it will be Westfield Sports Hider. Get us under the way and Central Coast will get their first touch of the footy. And let's have a look at their side. The one, Cooper Dean Potoka. The two, Joshua Fesole. The three, Samison Talakai. The four, Dane Jennings. The five, Bailey Va'ai. The six, Isaac Futumawala. The seven, Chase Bailey. The eight, Christian Pasikala. The 21, Lachlan Simpson. He'll play hooker. The 10, Devontae Vaituva. The 11, Tanner Mann. The 12, Jake Sunday. The 13, Isaiah Fesole. The 14, Tally Kulor Fale. The 15, Cameron Mackey. The 16, Cooper Gibbs. The 17, Caleb Fesole. The 18, Carter Maratko. The 19, Sam Tracy. And 20, Bittad Bailey. And a night. Nice start to the game from Central Coast. Good set. Well, on the kick now, it'll be Westfield Sports High. Their first touch of the footy in this 2024 campaign. And the Peter Mama Holland Cup proudly brought to you on Community TV. There's a good, strong carry. Referee will be Rami Abu Mansour. His touch charges Callum Riggi and Aiden Haywood. Good defence early from the Central Coast. Blockers now they're going to go down this short side. They're just a quick pass. Picks up Air Party. Air Party, good strong carry. Gets over halfway. They come still going. He'll get to the 40 metre mark. On three. <coughs> Actually four. They're going to shoot it. Big dummy there from Lele. Balls hit the ground. They're still going. They keep it alive. Seem pretty intent on doing that. Ends up in the hand of Ong. And what do we got here? There's a player down. Yeah, it's a Central Coast player riding in pain just in front of us here. Wait and see for him to get up. Yeah, just hopping up, up and down. It's... Jake Sanday. Looks like that left ankle. Well, it is that left ankle. He's hopping about. He'll make his way now as the trainer's coming. Coming off the field. Westfield Sports High, swinging for a referee. Abu Mansour, yeah, last tackle we, as it goes in there. We thought we were right there. It's a nice kick. First little bit of pressure on the Central Coast. Fullback does well. Dean Potaka did a good job. Called it early and took it well. A good test start. There's a good strong carry too, bringing it out. Joshua, SLA. Tackle three. Central Coast working out of their danger zone nicely. There's a good run there too from Jennings. Desire, Fessile, gets the halfway. Coming down this short side, two passes. Last tackles, a hand goes in the air. Oh, he tried to get to his feet quickly. He wasn't su surprised there, man, it was. Ten of man, there's a nice kick. Futu Moala. Nice take, though, as he brought it. Took it low. Tana Lesser. And Lesser does well. So, good start from both sides. No mistakes as yet. Nearly four gone. Westfields again. Bring it out of their danger zone. Crook. Right where they go. They come to the left. Stepped a big step there to Davu. And last tackle. As Peter Tai plays it. Goes back. Plenty of 
Alan Medine there put plenty on this. It's a nice kick. It'll spinning around. Still going eventually the kind bounce for Vai. Bailey Vai on that left wing for the Central Coast. Sports. So, been a good standard of footy first five minutes. The defence once again looking up. He had a little look at Simpson, but he decided to shift it. They've got numbers out there, out here now. Oh, great palm. Looks up, still going. Fessolay. Fessolay back inside for Jennings. And Jennings will score under the post. Central Coast grabbed the first points. They were more than happy to shift it on this right edge. Ended up in the hands of Joshua Fessolay. He gave his, his, his opposite number a beautiful palm. And off he went. He looked up back inside. Dane Jennings in the green headgear. And Jennings, I tell you what, he had plenty of teammates there with him to support play. From Central Coast and five gone. Jennings grabs the first points. And brought around beautifully. <laughs> Under the post. Just created numbers on this right edge. It'll be Chase Bailey with the goal kicking duties. And it's a great start for the boys from the Central Coast. Flags in the air, so 6 nil. Central Coast Sports College, great start. It was just some enterprising play. They, they just trusted each other. As I said, this could be a good clash now on this right wing. Goes deep, taken by Simpson. The central coast. Wouldn't want any mistakes on this set. Set. Simpson looked to the left, came back to the right. Ends up. Takes a while to get to his feet, but eventually does. Throws the dummy. And good ruck speed at the moment from this central coast side. Simpson again, the big dummy to the left, comes to the right again. It's worked once. Let's go down here again. That's where they go, back inside. It ends up in the hands of Simpson. Some good play down the middle. It was Marn who made some valuable metres and they're creating opportunities. Marn again winds up. He's more than happy. Simpson asking the touch judge. For a repeat set, it's not going to happen. A little tip on there ends up in the hands of Passy Carla. On four, Simpson long pass, just bouncing on that flat. Fesolay, that's Isaiah. That he's in jersey 13. Still on four here. Bailey, Bailey takes the ball to the line, looks up. I tell you what, what are we going to say? He's going to say the little double movement. It was Dean Botaka. The fullback coming in, he got the pass, and pretty sure that's what the referee's called. Just a little double movement. <laughs> it was a great set after points from the Central Coast side. With a penalty right on their defensive try line. Now, Westfield Sports High. The only place they've really had the footy to start their sets. Have a look at the defence here from Central Coast. In numbers. Got two buses worth of supporters as well here. So they've come up the, the highway, no doubt. Nice break. Their lovely pass. Talungi, Talungi. He gets over halfway. Simpson did well. Just got hold of him eventually. Now they look up. I thought they might have come to the left. They go to the right. Ong. 
This time they come to the left. He just tucks it up and goes himself, does Maylor. Maylor does well, keeps it alive, finds a rook or Suka. Rook or Suka driving forward, last tackle. Now look to put it in the air. Which way will it go? They do eventually find Alamedine. Alamedine keeps it low. Is he going to roll into touch? Oh, they, they attempt at it. Is he, oh, he's going to say he's gone into touch. He made the dash. Quiroz Mapasua chased the kick. But it had gone into touch just. Central Coast, fullback. Dean Potaka was just down for a moment. He's up and about now. So end-to-end -end stuff here in this Peter Moholland Cup. Round one clash. Pule. First game of Pule. Holy Cross got over the top of Farrah, 28-12. But 11 go on first half. Central Coast Sports leading 6 0. Courtesy of a try in the fifth minute to Dane Jennings. They gave a short side, good strong run. Right, or Tua. Nice kick. Once again, just waiting for it. Rock or Suka. Take a while to get to his feet. He sort of held the, grabbed the face when he hit the ground. A little bit of a break in play as Larima Rukosuka. I think both sides will enjoy the rest. As I said, it's gone end to end footy. Only a schoolboy and girls, NRL, of course. Schoolboy, schoolgirl, footy on community TV. Upcoming. Central Coast, with their opening 11 minutes, have shown they're ready to take on one of the heavyweights of this Peter Maholland Cup, the defending champions. Westfield's Sports High. On tackle one. Yep. Look, Osuka just waves to the ref and says, I'm all right, but we'll do it again. He hasn't blown time on as yet. Now he has. And they go to that right side. Ends up in the hands of Ong. Mason Ong. To the left. Some, I'll tell you what, if they can shift it quickly, they had some numbers out wide. He beats one. Rook Osuka, that's good to see. He's up and about. Into dummy half gave Tavu, Tavu, he, he passes it. A little bit of bounce off that right foot. It's well and truly over halfway as he gets to his feet. That was Ty. To the right they go. They turn it back underneath. He picks up Ong again. His second run in the set. Milford, which way will he go? As he comes to the left. Finds Ty, Ty. Little kick, Alamedine. Alamedine, the ball sitting up nicely coming in. He came through to make the tackle. He came back and scrambled well. Did Cooper Dean Putaka. Joshua. Soleil. Jennings will play it. They go to the open this time. Just a flat pass. Caleb, there's Soleil now. Onto the field in Jersey 17. 
Then he come down this short side again, puts the kick and puts it high in the air. <coughs> it was a lovely kick. 2-2 two -two Moala, but un Larima Rokosuka passed the test. His first high ball one in this clash. Nearly halfway through the first half. 30-minute halves, of course. Quiroz Mapasua. Takes a while to get to his feet. They got him on his back. Yeah, just took too long. But Crook, oh, they're going to play on here. It's a quick F boss. They tap and go quickly. They get over halfway. Good work. It was a tackle on Crook. They just held him down too long. They're going to go to the open. That's a good shot on Ty. Ty, but he's once again, oh, there's some. Oh, they're going to say a strip this time, are they? Yep. The early signs here from the 13 from Westfield creates opportunity. So this will be Westfield's first real live opportunity to attack inside the 20 of the Central Coast Sports College. Tavu with the restart. He looks at Alan Medine. That's where they go. Talangi, right at Talangi, part of last year's squad. The standing at first receiver, Alan Medine ends up in the hands, Lele. They look after him. They'll swing it straight back. Lele finds on. Got the arrow head both sides. Which way will they go? They go to the right. Lele. Lele decides to go himself. Get him on his back. He's tackled a meter out. This time they'll come back to the left. It's a long pass. Ends up with Ty. Ty. Short pass. Picks up Talangi. Talangi, they wrap him up on the last. Alamadeen. Once again, puts the little kick through, taken nicely. Jennings, Jennings can see clear space. Oh, the ankle tap just saved the day. It looked like Dane Jennings was off or gone. Larima, Rokosuka just threw himself out and it was just a, enough to put him off balance. We would have had a foot race if he didn't. Long pass. They're more than happy to shift it as well. It ends up in the hands of Talakai. Making plenty of metres. At the moment, Central Coast, I played five shy of halfway. He can see a brack and finds it. Picks up Fessor Lay. Fessor Lay looks inside, finds Mackie. Mackie, good tackle once again. Coming across, he got numbers that they can shift it to the right. Long pass ends up in the hands of Joshua Fessor Lay. And Central Coast, after a wonderful run up the middle of the field, Isaiah Fessor Lay got a lovely pass. Off the 21 and hooker, Lachlan Simpson. They had the awareness. They knew they'd suck the Westfield's defence in. So they kept shifting it to the right and ends up in Joshua. Bessel lays hands and he scores in the corner. 10-0. Kick to come. But it's been a great start from Central Coast Sports. So Chase Bailey with the conversion attempt. And that's six metres in from this right-hand touch line. Taking it back about 22. Get 
a great view of it from our camera point of view. It's Bailey. Moves in. How tall are those uprights? He moves in there. Will he slice it through? No, he just stays right. So 10 nil. 12 minutes till the half time break, and it's Central Coast Sports leading 10 nil. So Westfield's again with a restart. Lele. Lele gets plenty of it, but it's taken it all. Once again, the Central Coast side, more than willing in the battle. It's taken nicely on the full by Utu Mawala. He turned around and found Mackey, Cameron Mackey, who was involved in that break for the try. Simpson again out of dummy half scheming. Trying to catch the Westfield markers offside. Big dummy throwing Futu Mawala halfway through the gap. Scrambling defence came. The Archie, who was for Westfield, has just come onto the field in Jersey 17. He did well on the last tackle now. Once he'll look, Futu Mawala puts it high in the air. Rukosuku, ball's been knocked on. Knocked on by Central Coast. Of course, Suka came up. Couldn't get involved in it. So once again, Westfields have got to bring it out of their danger zone. And right on their defensive 10 yard line now, middle of the field. Solid contact. Burns on the field. Tristan Burns in Jersey. 16. Tie. Rokosuka coming in, slices through. He's got runners inside. He'll go himself, trying to carry him over. Good defence, Damon. Joshua Fesolei. Now they get an opportunity. On the last tackle, will they let the ball talk? No. Alamadine puts it high in the air. Coming, coming down. Who has come down with it? It's going to say it's knocked on. Westfield, so we'll be out of the 20. Larima Rokosuka once again showing his class. I always thought he'd go himself down this left hand touchline. Slice through. The cover defence was up to the task, in particular Joshua Vesole. So Jennings with a restart. Kulofale is also on in Jersey 14, so plenty of changes. Coaches, quite a warm day. Simpson, Simpson short pass, picks up Makey. Makey, Makey did well. Makey does well again, he keeps it alive and picks up Bailey. Bailey, two shifts, it ends up in the hands on that far side. And now Talakai, Talakai, room to move, hits the pass, scores! They've done it down this right side. This time they went to the left. And just players in motion. Just trying to see the number of who actually scored the try. But a, some great work down that left side. And all of a sudden, the Central Coast boys are leading 14-0.
kick to come from Bailey. Still seven to the break. So Bailey with a conversion attempt. This time looks good off the boot. Flags in the air. Central Coast Sports College, 16. Leading Westfield Sports High yet to score. They really got their tail in there now. The boys from the Central Coast. Been a great start. Ball goes deep. Jennings looks up. He'll take it. Now charging onto it. Plenty of interest off the back fence. Good, strong carry. Devontae Vitua. And a penalty. Devontae Veotua. As I said, he charged onto it. I wouldn't be surprised. I've got a funny feeling that try scorer might have been the 21 Lachlan Simpson, but we'll endeavour to find out for you in the halftime break. Following, there's a strong carry again. Caleb Vesalay. Vesalay plays it now. They'll look to come to this right side. Just Isaiah Vesalay. There's three of the boys sneaking out of dummy half. Goes Simpson. They're coming again. Butu Mawala. He gets caught with it after he had plenty of support out wide. Simpson, which way will he go? He'll come to the open side again. Long pass. Good ball movement. You've got numbers if they can shift it. Caleb, first or late. He does keep it alive. Ends up with Bailey. Bailey now in for Talakai. Talakai says, thank you very much. I'll do it all myself. And what a wonderful set after points. They marched it downfield. They got an early penalty. And then Semizon, Talakai. Just a nice little wrap around and end up back in the hands of Bailey. And Bailey, as I said, unleashed Talakai. And Talakai scores in the far corner. Four to the break. 20 nil. So in a similar place to his last conversion, Chase Bailey. As I said, they brought a couple of bus loads up, and that's them just behind Chase. In the central coast. And this was after, in the opening minutes, Jake Sendate made his way off the field. So one of their back rowers, but their ruck speed's been incredible so far, this central coast sports college side. More than willing, they scored their opening two tries on the right edge. And now, the last couple of minutes, two down that left edge. We'll let the crowd tell you, I think. That's where all his supporters are behind him.
Hits it sweetly. Waved away this time to the left-hand side. So with two and a half left to the break. Central Coast Sports College 20. Lead Westfield Sports High. Paul Franza, the coach of the Central Coast, will be over the moon at half time, but no doubt we'll know there's still 30 minutes left. And Westfield's coaches, Tim Sheens and Keith Anley, got it all to do at half time. Once again, more than happy. Hit it through the hands. This time it ends up in Caleb. Fessolay. They come back to the open side. Hazaya Fessolay. He got it on to Fayotua. Fayotua plays it. They come down the short side. Going on. Futu Mawala. Futu Mawala pops up. Finds Man. Man. Man says he'll have a dip himself. Tries to go over the top of Rokor Suka, but he's up to the task. They're on the last tackle. They slow it down enough. Futu Mawala, long pass. Ball hits the deck. They get up quickly on Talakai, and Talakai's wrapped up. I dare say that Tenaman at his time again, he might have let the ball talk just on his right edge. Decided to test out Rokor Suka's defence and he was up to the task. Wrapped up and driven backwards. Lele. Devon Lele. Down to dummy half. There goes Rokor Suka. They wrap him up quickly as well. Another scoot out of dummy half, Tanner Crook. They won't want any mistakes here before the halftime sirens. 50 seconds away. Central Coast Sports College. Been a great 30 minutes. There's some solid contact again in the battle. That time it was Devontae Vautua. Oh, and there's a, what have we got offside, have we? There was a little mistake. We got referee said the Central Coast boys a little bit eager. Alamadine. <laughs> they party. They party. Tavu. Oh, and there's the mistake. There's a mistake at the the dummy half and. The referee, Abu Mansour, blows half time, and wow, it's been an incredible first half of football. Didn't have any points for the the opening five minutes, and then we've seen the Central Coast Sports College go bang, 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 and grab four. Dane Jennings in the fifth, as we said, Joshua. Fessorlay. And then I'm pretty sure it was 21, Lockie Simpson. And then Samasoni Talakai. So four tries in that opening stanza. Two converted. And we will go to the break. Central Coast Sports College leading last year's National School Boys Champions. Westfield Sports High nil. Back with all the second half action shortly. Here it is. We're right to go. As Chase Bailey gets us underway. Kicks it deep to the clubhouse end here at Guildford Leagues Club. He just slips over, he comes into the, the play as Westfield. They want a big set here to start the game. He throws the dummy, Maylor. Haven't named a lot of these. Oh, there looks like a sh flat pass for Ty. I tell you what, it wasn't flat, it was forward. That's what it looked from the eye as well, and you could hear the Central Coast side yelling out forward. And that's not the greatest start. Well, no, that's the worst start. For Westfield Sports High when you trail 20 nil at half time. Second tackle pass throw and forward from dummy half and gives the Central Coast a chance to hit a wave early. Bailey will feed the scrum.
They go to the right side, it. Futu Mawala, Futu Mawala. He ends up picking up Joshua Fesole. Fesole, he plays it, come back to the open side now. He finds Isaiah Fesole, who is three of the boys playing. Now Simpson, which way will he go? He comes to this left side. Bailey, Bailey, long pass. That's where they go. Can he reach out? No, the scrambling give tense. It was Bailey, Vai. Vai will play it. Long pass again for Bailey. Bailey. Cameron. Makey. He was good in the first half when he came on. He came on early. There's a long pass from Simpson. Flat. But Otua. But Otua plays it. Simpson looks up. Oh, a little knock on there. The pressure was on. He just couldn't hang on to his eye. Ah, fair sole. So Westfield's sports after that early mistake survive. Rukosuka. No, it's not Rukosuka. It was uh, Ty. He was good. Limited opportunities. There's that man we're talking about, Rukosuka. He was very good in the first half. In attack and defence. For Westfields, Ty, Ty, balls hit the deck, being touched by Central Caves. Tackle counter restart. Crook. Burns at dummy half. Ty. Talungi. Oh, just a pop back pass inside. Maylor, Maylor didn't really expect it. He passes it on quickly now for Burns, and Burns will get it to five shy of halfway on four. Ty, Ty this time. Oh, they get up quick on Alan Medine, and he gets absolutely drilled to the ground. Their part there. Pops it underneath, trying to go straight through the middle. Tavu. Ty. Now, last tackle's called. Burns rolls into uh, dummy half. Which way will he go? Looking both sides. It goes Alamedine. That's been played out. I would have thought out. The leg went out. Oh, no. Referee says, well, it was played out. Yeah, it was, but he was behind. And now a penalty. Oh, dear, oh, me. It was played out by the Central Coast player. I'm pretty sure it was uh, Tale Kulo Fale. Picked up, chased the kick, picked it up, and then a penalty. And that hasn't found touch. He tried to thread the needle there. Or has it? Yeah, touched out. It's going to say it was touched. So it won't make any difference. We'll bring it in and have a scrum feed, will we? No. Nope. It's just a restart in the middle. No, it is. The referee, all the players. Ryder Talungi knows what's going on. It'll be a restart in the middle. No tap. So Simpson looks up. They all two are. Simpson. Zaya Fesole. He just tries to go straight through the middle of this Westfields pack. Got halfway through, Burns came. Simpson again, that's what he wanted. Bailey, Bailey. They've got runners. Jennings links up with Talakai. His centre partner, they've shifted. They both came around looking for it. Now, Va oh, in a dummy half, finds Bailey, Bailey. Caleb, Fessolet. Simpson can see yards. He looks up, goes. They find Bailey. Numbers in motion. Jennings, long pass. Can they finish it off in the corner? That is outstanding rugby league. Tali Kolo Fale scores in the corner. Absolute brilliant. Started in this left corner. Ends in the right corner. Wonderful football from this Central Coast Sports College side. And they lead 24-0. They had the depth. They let the ball talk. Dane Jennings threw a nice pass. And into the corner went Tali Kulofale.
Chase Bailey once again. He hasn't had any easy kicks. This one. Oh, he's had one. That's right. From right in front. So Chase Bailey with a conversion attempt, far side of the field. He'll move in. Touch judges, wave it away to the right-hand side. And after seven minutes in the second half, after Central Coast led 20 nil at half time, they score the first points in the second half and lead 24 nil. Deep kick, Jennings waits. He looks, just looks to his right and then look to his left. And he did go to his left and picked up Devontae Vaotua. Desire Fesolei plays it. A little bit of dancing, a nice little bit of footwork there. Futu Moala. He picked up a player short. That was Marn. And Tenor Marn just did well. Getting to halfway. On tackle three. Lockie Simpson controlling things in the middle. Bailey says, I've had enough of this. He can see a bit of space. It's a nice kick. It'll sit up and Brook or Suka will float across field. The chase has come and one of those was Jennings. Jennings clipped him and then came his support. In Cameron Mackey. The Zaya Fessel in the in the tackle is Crook. Crook trying to make something happen. Less air. Burns. Through the pass. On the last tackle again now to the open. Burns just puts boot to ball. It sits up kindly and taken that eye. <laughs> Bailey at dummy half. Jennings. Jennings. Oh, this time the ball's just good and all pipped out. As he went in to make the tackle, he lost control of it. <laughs> Maylor. He'll throw it out the back. Burns ducks under one. Maylor goes in the dummy half. They go to the left. Ty. Alamadeen. They're part there. Burns long pass. Ty. Oh, the ball's hit the deck. Crook has to go back, clean it up. He's got a bit of attention from his opposite number in Talakai. And Talakai brings him to the ground. Bailey comes over the top. In the dummy half goes Lele. To Lungi. Burns a dummy half now. Alamadeen. Alamadeen. Rokosuka. Trying to make something happen, and this time it's pipped out. So he's lost control of that as well as he hit the ground. Rook or Suka. And Central Coast will come up with a, the Steeden. And once again, this is where they've been very good. Just Their forwards just bringing out of the danger that time. Tenaman hasn't he been good? Some strong carries. Well, that time actually it was Devontae. But to her. Simpson. Makey. 
Mike, he wants runners. Ball goes backwards. Oh, cleaned up. He missed the tackle and then he was there to grab the, the crumbs. And saves the day for his side. Hey, Archie, it was. So Burns once again rolls in the dummy half. Which way will they go? They find Talangi. Talangi got support play. They get up quickly on Alamedin. Alamedin, they wrap him up. It was a a push pass there. Talangi, not much going right for him at the moment. They come to the open side. Ty, Ty, they get up quick. Punches away. Lele. They come again. In particular, Mackey. Last tackle. Alamedine got plenty of time, kicks to the open spaces. Down they come. There's a param- I mean, you know, Westfield's player. What are you going to say? Tackled in there. No. Offside, is he? Yeah, inside the 10 is the call on Guiroz uh, Mapasua. So 17 minutes left. Central Coast leading 24 nil. Cooper Gibbs. Once again, they roll to half time. Passy Carla. Passy Carla. Lachlan sent some controlling things. In the middle again, just looking for his runners. And once again, there's another meter eater. Man. Man. Have a look at the post-contact meters here. He just rolled it forward. But Mackie was the one before that. All of a sudden, now Simpson looks up, sees a gap, says thank you very much. Well done, boys. I'll turn it into four. And he can think. As I mentioned, Mackie, Man. Making big metres for this Central Coast Sports College. He got the quick play of the ball, did Lachlan Simpson. Saw the gap and like a, a bullet out of a gun, took off. Twenty-eight nil. Conversion only about ten metres the right hand upright and it's been an impressive performance from this Central Coast Sports College side. There are plenty of workers, as I said, the Ford Pack, they all work together. So, Bailey. Chase Bailey, flags in the air, 30 nil. Halfway through this, halfway through this second half, this Peter Mulholland Cup, Poule, round one clash. And the boys from the Central Coast have made a statement in game one. Westfields with the restart. Jennings waiting for it. He, he looks up. I wasn't sure if he was going to pass it, but he, he had a teammate there willing to work. Still going. Pasakala. Christian Pasakala. Good run early doors. Now Marn's turn. On tackle three, they'll play it five away from halfway. That was Marn, the one before. 
keep rolling forward. This time Mackey. So so now. The two Moala. Bounce off that right. Bailey. Bailey puts it high in the air, waiting. Brook or Suka. No problems for him. He takes it nicely. And now Westfields. Looking to grab their first points of the afternoon. Might take a while to get to his feet. A fair bit of pain there. Strollers at a cramp. Early jaws at Epate. So they led 20 nil at half time. We're expecting a, a rebound from Westfield Sports, but a mistake on only their second tackle. Turn the momentum back to Central Sports straight away. Westfield trying to make something happen, trying to go through the middle. It was a good run, Alamedeen. Rook or Suka, he keeps it alive and picks up. Car, Cooper Car. Burns a dummy half. He just goes himself, burns the tackle. Last tackle it is. I'll look again, Alamedeen. No, it doesn't. Goes to Talangi. Now, Alamedeen says, let's keep it alive. Le, 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 le. He pumps it up for Davu, but he tried to punch it out and continue to keep it alive, but to no avail, the scrambling defence of Central Coast. Less air it was. Couldn't hang on to the pass. And so now Central Coast will have to bring it out of their defensive 10. There's some good contact there between Westfield's forwards who are getting up, trying to create a mistake. Call off Alaire. Jennings. Jennings. Straightens it up. Still going is Jennings. Can he get his hands through? He certainly can. Push the pass. He did well. Oh, no, he didn't. He couldn't hang on to it. Jennings. Got the hand to the head saying, what do I do that for? They don't need to make any mistakes. So scrums packed and picked up at the back from Burns. Burns, Bele, he turns. Tapu back underneath. There's a bit of urgency. Burns, he goes to that left side. Linking up together, he ends up in the hands of Air Party. Air Party wrapped up quickly. Man, involved in the tackle. To the open, long pass, Maylor, Maylor, he'll keep it alive. That's where he goes, Lele, Lele for Roko Suka. Roko Suka tried to make the pass. Ball's come loose. We're going to knock on Westfields. Just really trying hard to add some points. This Westfields to finish the match as we roll into the final 10 minutes. It's been a game dominated. Or the Central Coast Sports College side.
just sends a message to obviously the other four groups. Tutu Mawala just straight out to his winger, Joshua Fesole. Kulofale. Simpson. Simpson controlling things in the middle. Look left, went right. Caleb, there's Ole. About two metres shy of halfway. Simpson goes to the right. Nice little bit of ball playing. Bailey, Bailey tries to skip away from the tackle. Enzo pushing the pass. Gets it to Futu Mawala. Futu Mawala finds Jennings. Jennings unleashes Gibbs. Gibbs down that right side. Gibbs, pass goes back inside. And looking for three. Lucky Simpson, the little... Number, well, he's wearing 21. He's been playing nine. They said he couldn't find the nine jumper before the game. He's grabbed three. And it was just some good work. They unleashed Cooper Gibbs down that right-hand touch line. And one of the features of all the tries from this Central Coast Sports, they've had teammates backing up. There's been numbers all day. Gibbs looked back to the left, saw Lachlan Simpson and said, here you go. One, two, three. That chopper's low. <laughs> That'll be the, the news tonight, hearing that Central Coast are leading 34-0. <laughs> They're getting pictures of it. So Chase Bailey moves in. This looks good off the boot. Oh, it's hit two posts. Hit the upright, hit the crossbar, and the flags are in the air. So 36 nil. Well, Cooper Gibbs, he scored. He's got down that right-hand touch line. He's switched over. He's on the left now. The restart again from Westfields. Oh, Futu Moala just plucks it out of the air and then looks for a support player once again. Well, that's one thing. Central, oh, the ball's gone loose here. What's the referee going to say? Yeah, no control. Ball went loose. Devontae Ba'otua. They've made a lot of mistakes. Central Coast. Now Westfields will have a, a scrum feed, middle of the field. Only 10 out looking to score their first points of the afternoon. Burns at the back. I thought he was going to go. He's going to go himself. Gets past one. Can't get past. Coming across. Mackey. In the dummy up goes Ty. Ty. He ends up looking to the right. Lele. Lele. Oh, balls hit the ground. Crook. And Bailey. Bailey. He'll just take the tackle now. There's no need to be silly. Gibbs. They, oh, he goes into dummy half, or well, eventually he does pop the pass and picks up Bessole. A little lock on, have we? One-on-one -on -one knock on Westfields, is it? That's the way he's pointing towards, so... And it will be Central Coast feed. Oh, 
They're now Chase Bailey will feed it again. Central Coast. Looking for more points. Simpson for Bailey. Bailey, oh, the pass to Gibbs. He couldn't control it. Rolling into the, the final five minutes here at McCready. McCready Park. Guildford Leeds Club in the background. And Westfield's Sports Eye looking to grab their first points of the day. Car. Alamadine. Talungi. Burns, Ty, another member of last year's successful side was Ty Alamadine. Danced off the left, off the right. Central Coast defence brings him to the ground. They come to the open side. Ty, Ty, Lele, Lele. Will he keep it alive? No, he doesn't. Now we're on the last tackle. They need to get a repeat set. They need something. Alamadine just puts boot the ball, attacking it. There's numbers everywhere. I think he may have scored. And he's put his hand in the air to say, I have. I think it is Lorima Rokosuka. He's grabbed a well-deserved try. He's tried hard for his side. It was Lorima Rokosuka. Grabs Westfield's first points after a little bit of a mix-up between the two Central Coast players is a just a little grubber kick through there from Zane Alamadine and Westfields grab their first points Flags in the air. Conversion successful from Zane Alamadine. And with two minutes left. Chase Bailey will get us underway. That's he comes out. Bailey kicks it deep. Goes back there. Onto the field. Jedi Esera. His first touch. His first hit up. Esera. Now Ty. Burns. Which way he goes? He goes to the open side. Salungi Burns over halfway. Tried to get away from Vautua, but can't. Vautua still involved in a tackle there. Burns eventually gets to his feet. Alamadine. Oh, ball's been intercepted. Futu Mawala. Futu Mawala. Foot race. He's looking for support. Kicks the ball back inside. Which way the bounce is going to come? Coming across. Still going. They clean it up to Westfield. It was a clever little bit of work for Tu Mawali. Only had one player there, and that was Kulofale. So he put the kick back in field for him. But the scrambling defence of Westfields cleaned it up. Rokosuka again. He's trying to make something happen for his side. Ty. Alamadine turns it back up. Esera. 
the setter. He'll play it now. Burns as we roll into the final five seconds. What do we got? They can move up quickly. This time ends up in the hands of Crook. Crook beats one. Can see half a gap, and they're going to wrap him up. The siren will sound. And the Central Coast Sports College have come to town to take on, as we said, last year's national champions in Westfield's Sports Eye. And after leading 20 points to nil, have gone on with a job in this second half to take the two points, 36 points to six.